Today on the last word we do a deep dive into China's propaganda network. Delhi police is probing the last instance of China's hand in influencing media organizations to peddle its anti-India propaganda. We are talking about the News Click case. A day after searches at the News Click office and questioning of journalists associated with the news portal, Delhi police took Prabir Purkayasta, founder of News Click and Amit Chakravarti, HR head of the organization into custody on Wednesday. Both of them have been arrested under anti-terror law which is the UAPA. The portal has denied all allegations of any connections with China. News Click has also said that all funding received by the portal has been reached through appropriate banking channels. So let's look at the alleged money trail between China and US millionaire Neville Ratsingham who has emerged as a big player in this story. According to agencies, all of this begins with a company set up by Jason Fetcher, an associate of Neville Roy Singham. The company Worldwide Media Holdings was incorporated in the US in 2017. In 2018, the company allegedly pumped in rupees 9.6 crore of FDI into NewsClick by buying shares of the portal at inflated rates. NewsClick has also allegedly received export remittance of 28 crore between 2018 and 2022 from two US-based entities. During investigation, NewsClick could not produce any proof for exporting services to the US companies. This is what agencies have said. Of course, NewsClick has denied these allegations. So the agencies have also claimed that money from Chinese Communist Party was routed to Neville Roy Singham through NewsClick. Singham has allegedly paid at least rupees 38 crore to the portal. Some other individuals such as Gautam Navlakha, an accused in the Bhima Koregaon case, has allegedly been paid rupees 21 lakh by NewsClick. Others such as Tista Setalwad and her family members, journalists such as Paranjoy Guhar Thakurta, Urmilesh and Abhisar Sharma have also received payments from NewsClick. Many of these journalists, however, have come out and clarified that they were just consultants with the portal. Earlier this year, however, an NYT investigation implicated NewsClick as one of the organizations funded by a network associated with the US millionaire Neville Roy Singham, an allegation that the news portal has denied. Now, who is this Neville Roy Singham who has emerged as an important player in this whole story? Agencies have identified Singham as the individual responsible for funding and sponsoring Chinese propaganda through non-profit groups and shell companies. Singham operated out of China. He's also a long-time activist who founded the software consultancy firm ThoughtWorks based in Chicago. Delhi police has said that Singham used this financial network to push China's propaganda. Now, NewsClick is not the only crack, not the first crackdown on alleged China-funded ventures by Indian investigating agencies. Until last year, the central government banned over 250 Chinese apps, citing them to be harmful for the integrity of the country. Meanwhile, a freedom, a report by the Freedom House American Institute has said that China's propaganda network has been found in every major country. This was found after a study of 30 big countries that said that China has a propaganda network in more than 15 countries. Now, this report also noted a tremendous increase in propaganda in the last three years in 18 countries spread across America, Asia, Africa, South, South America and other nations. Remember, a major social networks like Facebook are banned in China. There are also activities such as hacking, trolling and other kinds of harassment techniques that are also deployed.